Hundreds of demonstrations taking place throughout the nation today, protesting the president's administration, the immigration policies, including one right here at home. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Heather Mills. And I'm Gerard Romalo. News 3's Kendall Nunley takes us to the federal courthouse here downtown, where thousands came together today, taking part in what's being called the Families Belong Together Day of Action. Down the street from the glistening lights of casinos and hotels stood thousands of people along the famed Las Vegas Boulevard calling for change. I feel like I'm fighting for my life all over again. Marzena Shada is not only out as a protester, but the voice of an immigrant. She moved here from Poland. 37 years ago. I get so emotional because I feel the pain of all of the children, the, what they're going through, and I can empathize with them. I fought for my life when we left communism. Across the nation Saturday, more than 700 rallies, marches, and protests organized, pressing the Trump administration to reunite families separated at the U.S. border. The fact of the matter is that they're human beings and they should be treated like that. But when I first saw the images of children being taken from their parents, I was astonished. After public outcry earlier this month, President Trump ordered that families found crossing into the country illegally no longer be separated. Just this week, giving what's been described as a lukewarm approval for a GOP-backed immigration bill. I get overly excited with the House bill right now because it's not going to pass in the Senate. You're not going to get you're not going to get the Democrats to vote for anything. Also this week, a federal judge ordering officials to reunite those separated families within 30 days, though as more than 2,000 children reportedly still remain separated from their moms and dads. Saturday's protesters, like Shada, are now hoping to put the pressure on the administration to quickly get these kids back with their parents. I had no idea that I would be standing over here 37 years ago doing this. This is not what this country stood for. From downtown Las Vegas, Kendall Nunley, News 3. Nevada's local leaders joined in on the protest today. Representative Ruben Kiwin tweeting out, proud to see hundreds of Nevadans at the Keep Families Together rally in downtown Las Vegas. He went on to say, we will not stop until we end family detention and keep families together. Senator Cortez Masto also tweeting in part, I stand with all marchers across the country, especially those in Nevada. News 3 is your place for breaking news. I know you've seen this before, but it's a great reminder. Every breaking news story, as it happens, you can get it on your phone, your tablet. Really simple. Download our app, News 3LV. That way you get the stories as they're happening.